what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. Today guys, we're back again to new video guys. I'm Zim and beautiful guys. My time. name is Devan and welcome to the best videos guys. So they're going to be reacting guys to who do the Christian follow actually. Um, this is going to be our first time checking this out. A lot of you guys have been recommending, have been preaching to me. Should I use a word like that on my Instagram page? Trying to tell me and give me reasons about how the Muslim come about about how, what the Quran is about and I'm really grateful I really do appreciate all your efforts and I really do learn a lot from you guys and keep it coming guys keep it coming uh, the more you incite me the more I know more uh, sometimes I'm a little bit scared because it's something I have never heard about before in my life and the more I discover the more I feel like there's a lot of things I got to know and there's a lot of things we have to open our eyes to that is beyond our own understanding to me. You know how it is, guys? We so talk very little, we ask more. Let's get into this video. What is the purpose of life? I like that question. What is that the purpose of life, guys? The way found a has just been published in America. The title of that book is The Hundred, alternatively described as the top hundred or the greatest hundred in history. The author is a certain Michael H. Hart, described as an astronomer and a mathematician. This American, he goes out of his way to search in history for the hundred most influential men from Adam alayhi salam, from Adam up to current times. And he gives us a list of those hundred most influential men according to his reasoning. He gives reasons behind every person that he chooses why he chose this number one and why he chose that number 30 and why he chose that number 100 he gives you reasons and the amazing thing about his list is this that number one on his list you can guess is muhammad and the shocking thing about his list wow. is this that his own lord and savior jesus christ is number three his own lord and savior jesus christ is number three not even number two and he gives his reasons for that also he said you see the honor for Christianity, or whatever it is, is to be divided between Paul and Christ. And he said that the real founder of Christianity is not Jesus Christ, is Saint Paul. He wrote more books than the New Testament, consists of 27 books, out of which more than half, 14 are written by this one man, Paul, Saint Paul, the self-appointed apostle of Jesus, self-appointed. He didn't go and choose him, he chose 12. But the self-appointed apostle, and Paul, he wrote 14 out of 27 books, more than half. And everything that the Christian is preaching today is not the preachings of Jesus, are not the teachings of Jesus, are the teachings of Paul. See, whenever we are having an argument with the Christian, we are asking him, do you keep the laws and the commandments? But Jesus said so. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He said, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments or shall teach men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He says, no. So why don't you? So he says, no, the law is nailed to the cross. So we are now living under grace. So where did you get that? So he says, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians. So what's all that? Who's that? He says, this is Paul, Paul, Paul. So what did your master say? No, they don't talk about the master, Jesus. But they don't talk about him. Paul, Paul, Paul. If they contradict you in anything, it's Paul. The real founder of Christianity is Saint Paul. Hmm. This, this is big, but I, I definitely don't accept or agree to this. Uh, the real founder of Christianity is Saint Paul. I know St. Paul did a lot and he wrote a lot of scriptures, but he was not actually the founder of Christianity. Being a Christian alone, Christian, should I use the word? Christian. 
it's not just like for you to be a Christian is a conversion from your worldliness to Christ. It's not just who is the actual founder or stuff like that. You are converting, and when you are converting, you are giving your life to Christ. You are giving your life to Jesus Christ. So it's uh, I definitely don't support that, and I hundred percent like I definitely don't support that. Uh, though he try and make his thoughts right, but I'm, I don't think they're no right, guys. For me, they're no right. And being a Christian, I don't accept that. And I feel like it's not true. So I would like to advance this and take it forward, but it's going to take our time a lot because I would like to give you guys reason why this is false to me. So you guys can't say the founder of Christianity is poor. That is not true. Uh, what do you think? Um, he said um, Paul was a self-appointed um, preacher, but he was called on his way to Damascus yeah. to destroy the um, Christians. disciples and those yeah. Christians. He was called. He made an accountant, and he yeah. was called to Christ. He was called by God. So I, I don't feel that when it comes to Christianity, you just don't put like this person created this, this person. It's, yeah. it's a teamwork. Everyone put in their effort. Jesus came and died for our sin, and he had disciples behind like he left people behind and left us with the holy spirit and that continues like it's it's a way that you pass on to everybody because john the Baptist came to talk about the coming of jesus christ yeah. then jesus came and when he was done with his work when he was done for dying with those things he left the world down to the holy spirit and to the people that were there the disciples and he kept on calling more people so i can't just put like this is the founder of this this is the founder of this yeah. it's he was like, it's a very he was actually called because yeah. His name was first Saul. Then yeah. when Jesus called him, he turned into Paul, Paul. because he was persecuting the Christians. The Christians. Yeah. And him being called, he was chosen. It was something like an example that mm. God itself can change even the worst man to saints. Exactly. You get it. It's not that he was the founder of Christianity. He was chosen. And God gave him insight. God gave him understanding. God gave him wisdom. So him writing the book was not just on his own making. It was what was... You get, it was like a divine intervention in his life. It's, it's very, very important and it's very, very deep. Um, it took us a lot of time to explain this further for you guys to get. But Paul being the founder of Christianity, I still don't buy to that. That's not true. I don't feel that there should be comparison because yeah. um, I feel... God teaches us, like, you shouldn't judge. So I don't feel we should compare this and this, who did it. Like, they came to do that work. They brought in their own purpose. And yeah. They did the work. They said, and we should be appreciative of what they have done. Not yeah. comparing what this did more. On. What this did most. Everyone had their own purpose and the reason why they were on earth. And they fulfilled it. And I feel that is the most important thing. And also, Mohammed being the first... Like, this one is greater, this one is not greater. And in the end of the according day... To, according to what he said, sorry. According to what he said, it was like, according to the man understanding and what he that thinks. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> so there are some people who will be like, that will come about their own ideology or their own, yeah. their own books that will bring Jesus Christ first and Mohammed fourth or third. But that is still not right. You get There's no one who is like above all. There's no comparison. There's no comparison between Mohammed or Christ. They were both... Prophets yeah. who has been sent to send the word of God to us. So, irrespective of Muhammad being the first or Christ being the third, there's no comparison there. They were both prophets. I also call Paul a prophet because yeah. he was called by God to share his words to us. So, I don't feel like we should compare them in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, if you believe in Muslim, keep, keep your faith strong. Your faith strong. That is what I'm going to share to you. If you believe in Christ, keep your faith strong. And there are reasons why I'm still where I am with Christ. Uh, I've seen miracles in my life. Uh, there are points I almost gave up. There are points I, I was almost dead. And through prayers, God's intervention restored me back. So uh, there are a lot of reasons why I'm stick to Christianity because I have seen the, it has been proven to me. I was not just told. I witnessed it, I experienced it. So there's a difference within that. 
uh, and I'm glad we watched this video. Yeah. And I know it's my opinion, my friend, a lot of people. So comment down below what you think about this video. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Give us your thumbs up. Share this video as many as come, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in this video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you in my bed. I got scales on.